Today I'm catching up with Byrne Gandhi, Global Industry Partner for Energy and Utilities for IBM Consulting. Welcome, Byrne. Hey, Kevin. And we're joined by Brad Stansbury, Energy and Chemicals Advisory Leader at KPMG. Welcome, Brad. Thanks, Kevin. Now, before we get to your recent announcement, Byrne, can you talk a bit about the IBM and KPMG Alliance? Yeah, sure, Kevin. Um, you know, delivering value across in, in today's evolving business landscape, it really requires innovation. And, and that innovation is at the core of this um, KPMG IBM Alliance. Uh, this alliance has been in place for quite a few years now. Uh, where we work together on solving some of the key problems uh, and, and collaborating together to some of the uh, to address some of the key issues uh, that our clients face when they run large transformation programs and and, and by teaming up together bringing complementary skills and and experience learning from uh, common pitfalls that that we see in such large transformation programs is what we bring in in this partnership. Um, by working together, we've also brought an, an, a lot of innovative technologies like data, AI capabilities, ability to modernize and migrate um, the large um, ERP programs and, and systems onto the cloud, address the governance risk and compliance consideration, uh, and thereby bring agility and competitiveness for our clients. That's at the core of our partnership here. And Brad, from the KPMG perspective, what's your take on the alliance with IBM? Our strengths match up uh, really well. Where our, our focus on on transformation, our focus on covering tax and controls and, and, and industry elements, as as Bjorn said, really supplements their strength around the technology and the depth of uh, of experience that they have. And um, the the other benefit that we see is is the way our cultures match really well, and so the the idea of of how we work together to the benefits of our clients and eliminating friction that can exist in uh, multi provider models that 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 brings a real unique value to our clients as well. Now, uh, Brad, you recently announced plans to deliver SAP business transformation in energy and utilities, and you've mentioned that your your complementary skills complement each other. So what are you up to here? Yeah, for us, when we are looking at the, the next uh, five to 10 years for our utilities, uh, they're really challenged with pr being productive parts of the energy transition. And, and specifically, there's more work that they, that they need to do to extend and expand the, the operation of the network um, mm -hmm. than, they can, um, than they can take on themselves. And so the more work we can do to help them become more efficient in hooking up the next generation of renewable technologies, deal with electrification of fleets, deal with data center usage spiking because of Gen AI, all of the things that are putting pressure on their distribution networks, we're seeing um, an incremental benefit around the, uh, the integration of an SAP platform to bring work and asset management, integrating it into the traditional scope of an ERP to deliver more efficient outcomes, which ultimately means um, being able to, to maintain the, the integrity of their grid and provide continuous, safe, reliable service to their customers and at the lowest cost. And so uh, that objective of, of the, the ultimate objective of, of the utility of operating the grid um, uh, and being a productive part of the energy transition and how I, we can draw direct lines between that and um, an SAP transformation are really compelling. And Bern, if I may, anything from the IBM perspective that you'd add? No, I think I just agree with what Brad said, right? Energy transition. Now, there is there is no energy transition without digital transformation. And 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 to me, the, the, for our clients to really drive a digital journey to enable or navigate through the, the energy transition, it can be very challenging. And, and it requires putting together right technology decision and, and getting the right business expertise to really integrate the business processes and technology together. And this is where I see the, uh, the partnership that we bring in with the breadth of consulting, operation tax, tax risk and other things can actually help us to uh, address some of these large um, and uh, challenges that, that a typical digital journey requires. And um, the implementation of such large programs are really thorny uh, subject from particularly for time and, 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 and efforts. And this is where bringing 
you know, the, the expertise of the people who have actually done this stuff from a business process perspective, from technology and done it at, at different clients and being, bringing those expertise together is the only way where we can drive such large transformation programs uh, successfully. And Bern, you know, you mentioned when, it, when you come to the energy transition, it's a journey and it's all about uh, a digitalization journey. Do you have any examples of where IBM and KPMG have already worked with some of your clients today to, to move them along there? Yeah, I think the, the very good example that comes to my mind is that's Liberty. Uh, at Liberty in the US and in Canada business, uh, we're working for almost now four years, right, Brad, um, on, the, on the customer first project where we've looked into the uh, and, and revolutionized the entire uh, processes around customer finance, asset management, field services, and supply chain operations. So that's one of our best examples where we've kind of collaborated uh, among others. Yeah. And Brad, um, in terms of the Liberty example, or is there any other client example that stands out for you? Yeah, we've been working with IBM uh, at some other clients as well, including um, how we're... Uh, how we're going to market together and, and making sure that, that we're explaining to our clients, our, our priority clients, where we, we uniquely have um, history, how this uh, accretive partnership will bring value to them. So we're seeing a lot of opportunity collectively between the IBM and KPMG brands um, across the utility industry. And, and Bern, from the IBM perspective, any examples of where you've seen your competencies complement those of KPMG? For example, the, the, by, by given the audit and tax background that, that KPMG brings in, right, there is a quite a bit of depth, in-depth knowledge about the processes around auditing, around finance control, and so on and so forth that they bring in. Whereas for us, really automation, AI, applying uh, data and bringing data together in a very efficient way, um, automating processes, making the in workflows intelligent, that's our strength. And I think bringing this together is is what really what the value that we generate at uh, by partnering together here and and value for our clients right so it's really really innovation from both sides from business perspective understanding really the problem or really understanding the processes while at the same time figuring out how we apply technology to make that processes or that workflow intelligent that that's the real well, value kevin the other thing i'd add okay. to that is that um these are as i said these are big and complicated programs and um, the benefit that, that companies get, including Liberty, around having two partners involved that are working together collaboratively, but they have different perspectives. And having a client who's getting different viewpoints from two uh, kind of world-class business services firms, consulting firms, around how the progress, how the health of the program is progressing, uh, what the risks are, how we're responding to those risks. We've seen our clients really benefit from those, that kind of multiple voice environment. Um, and the benefit that, that IBM and KPMG has already kind of knitted ourselves together in the context of scope where we're not, uh, we know what each of our roles is and we work together really well in that way, as opposed to, you know, fighting on the, on the, um, on the boundaries, which you could imagine that might happen between two professional services firms. They get the benefit of, of the multiple viewpoints, but then they also get the benefit of the fact that we are, are we, we know each other's role really well. Now, in terms of folks listening to this and, and, and wondering how they get the expertise from IBM and KPMG, why, what's the best way to approach you folks, uh, Brad? Well, we have um, a couple of ways. We, um, we have a uh, connections to a lot of the utilities uh, in the United States. Um, and so um, uh, most, most of their programs we're tracking pretty closely and working with IBM uh, on um, uh, on kind of market intelligence and where that where that uh, uh, how they're progressing towards their uh, prioritizing their journey because as you know there's there's an ecosystem of technology that utilities have to are going through the process of of um, uh, of updating and so the question of where where an ERP program sits in the in the broader context of the journey of the company is is complex and every answer is different um, but ultimately they can. Uh, Happy for them to reach out to me or Bieran or other um, uh, other uh, representatives of the IBM and, U and KPMG utilities team, and would love to have a conversation of, of uh, what this looks like, how it works, how the ben how it can benefit those individual clients. And Bern, from your side, do you have an extensive team worldwide? Absolutely, we have a pretty big, long, a pretty big SAP practice, 
And, and as Brad said, uh, you know, reaching out to any one of us or our broader IBM utilities team, uh, I think we're going to share our, our context detail as well here. So, yeah, looking forward. Hey, good stuff. Thank you very much. Of course. Thanks Thank for you. having us, Kevin.